hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i am chi wise to those of you just see my face for the very first time you're welcome to my channel welcome to my space welcome to the chi wise family where we exude positive vibes only anyways compliments of the season guys i'm pretty sure we are already preparing for christmas and all of those good stuff so today's video let's just react to a post i saw and so a guy a guy came online about how he was planning to jack bar he told his friend all of his plans in fact he even had to send his friend his flight ticket without covering or blurring any vital information sensitive information on that flight ticket but guess what this is friend too had plans of jack buying and at the end of the day the friend hid his own personal information away from him without letting him know so at the friend got to uk was stranded and remember he has a friend that's in the uk as well so this guy had to call his friend that I i'm stranded please can you help me and the guy was like the guy was actually shocked that i don't understand you mean you were planning to jack by you didn't tell me you didn't even tell me okay fine you didn't even tell me about your plans you got to the uk you needed help was when you had to remember to call him now, according to this guy he said his friend knew how him and the mom i'm looking for somebody that is coming to the uk to help him bring his med his local medication to the uk and this his friend is traveling and they didn't deem it fit to tell him and the guy was like, he was eating, actually pained him, he was actually hot, but he still helped his friend. And I'm like, okay, I mean, you still have B2 kind heart, right? right? Which is actually very good. Now, I felt it because, truth is, let's not lie, if it is you, you feel bad. I just believe, if you're a private person, it's fine. Because truth, let's not even lie, we have those friends that... They don't want to tell you things about them but they want to hear stuff about about you and i'm like how make it make sense you don't you're not telling me stuff about you then let's not tell each other stuff about me so i actually read comments about this particular post and the comments are really been mind-blowing different kind of people saying different kind of things that da, 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 and that so this just made me remember what a friend of mine did to me this friend of mine that got married and you know when, the, when she got married and first month she did not conceive second month she did not conceive and all of those stuff now through how those periods when she was just trying to conceive she was only talking to me i uh, should please pray oh, this and this she's trying to conceive da, 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 da that it's not forthcoming and i would not like as a good friend uh, see this is it i never for once asked her how far i would see i'm not even that kind of a person there are some sensitive things that i don't ask my friends somehow i used to feel like they would think i don't care but no me if you don't involve me in your business i will never be in your business right so this friend of mine now you're trying to conceive it not happen you you only you're always coming to me telling me I, I should pray and all of this stuff and me as a good friend most times you know now when you go to church people share testimony of how they conceive that, that, that i always key into those testimonies and pray for my friend and every other person around me that even though they didn't tell me at least just to get your sense you know that you just pray generally so you guys god answered her prayers and she didn't deem me fit to tell me god answered her prayer i would not lie i felt hot like i felt bad i felt like i don't understand am i a devil i did not come and meet you in the first place that and uh, what happened was happening you got this and all of those stuff you were the one coming to meet me you were the one always telling me to pray for you but god did it for you and you did not deem me fit to tell me you didn't tell me Mind you, this person is a family friend, so I got to know she gave birth through my mom. And God, it, when I say something pain me, something pain me, and I felt really bad. 
I did not say anything, even though I was hot. I was like, I don't want to, I won't reach out to her and love, but I don't know. I just felt, someone just pushed me to just reach out to her, which I did. I reached out to her. I even went to see her too. The process of while I was with her, I, like, I would not like, I, I kind of had my opinion. I told her, like, I just kind of like stylishly, but I didn't really hit it, hit the nail on the head. Like, I feel like it was just so sensitive to just say like that. I was like, let me just let that one slide and all of this stuff. So, the process of when I went to see her, to greet her, and she was like, it's a process of having conversation. She was only talking about, like, winch, 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 people are this, she's not going to, so, 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 prayer, winch, evil people, evil people, evil, I'm like, okay. That moment, like, my, my, my brain just had to tell me that, see, you have to be careful with this kind of person, with this kind of mindset, like, everything is a winch, fly past, winch. Rats pass, winch. This one pass. You are going for one prayer, da 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 da, and all of those stuff. So, I'm like, okay, if this is how this person is, I just knew, you know what? I think at this point, our friendship needs to move from this to this. So, I kind of, I, I didn't really cut her off totally, and all of those stuff. So, I guess I have um stuff coming up for me, and I did not tell her. Her mom called me that this, this, this. So I just realized, okay, you know what? Just to fulfill all righteousness, I have to just inform her about it and all of those stuff. But this is somebody that we are close. This is somebody that from the beginning, she's supposed to be aware of this particular thing for me, right? I didn't, I don't inform her because the fact that one, whatever happened between us, I just knew, I believe this person no longer sees me as that very close friend anymore so i just had to just go god so kind she gave birth to the second one she didn't tell me as well i should have just sent her a message congratulations i didn't even bother myself going to see her my mom was even like ah just go okay i said no i'm not going no 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 this person doesn't regard me as a friend so why should i be going all out this person this someone that she's not telling me the first one no i still went all out just to go and see her and all of those stuff then I just realized, truth is, people need to understand that you need to be very careful with the kind of people you call your friends. There are some people that they they don't want you in their business, but they want to be in your business. So you need to match that energy. Truth is, I know when I told my mom I wasn't going to go to her place, I wasn't going to visit her. And I'm like, oh, yeah, a Christian. I said, always play that you're a Christian card. And I'm like, no, it's not a matter of you're a Christian. It's a matter of this person that is showing you this red light like i don't want you as my friend you i don't regard you as somebody very close yes we used to be very close but the bond is loosed already so what's the point so people need to come to terms to that that as you are seeing this person as your bestie are they reciprocating this bestie ship know know how to place people if you guys used to be very close and you notice something has happened or something is happening just cut it off immediately so you don't feel hot see let's not like friendship breakfast is very painful very very painful let's not even like simple so let's try to like measure all people the way they do to us like unless you are led to do otherwise then you are free to do whatever you, you want to do but you see me i'm big on energy if like if i can go all out for you and when it's your turn to, to go all out for me, you will not be giving excuses. <laughs> Omar, it's not done. There are people that they just want you to do for them, do for them, do for them. But they don't want to do for you. Now, nobody is even measuring friendship by material things. Like little, like, there are some little, little things that are, that are even out of material um, things. Say, that's what you can do for your friend. But no. Why well, we have people that they want to always get information about you but once it's your turn they'll be they'll be concealing it they'll be hiding it although let's not lie i have somebody that there are some friends that you know that if you tell this person something mm, specific if you tell this person something it's the person doesn't know how to keep secret and all of the person will spread it yes you understand that there are some kind of friends like that so you will now know how you will balance you don't know how you will how you will do things around that kind of a person so all these my friend this 
is your friend seeing you as a friend the way you are seeing them are they seeing you in that light or you are the only one making the friendship thrive you are they are just and they're just laid back they're not even doing anything so big ups to that person at least the person still had a small you get the good side of the person at the end of the day the person of the person you're even hiding your jackpot from is still the one you still have to run to for help right so let's just know when to, where to draw the line if you are for energy for energy please hold up to it and if you are the type that just be like you know what let's just let peace reign i am team let peace reign sometimes but some other times too i can be like you know what i'm gonna give you back the way you give it to me so that's just it about that but truth is as much as we're trying to match up energy let's just let's still be let's let's know um the right thing to do let's just um see and be gone clear your conscience let's just clear our conscience do the right thing to do like this is my friend now that at least you get when she gave it to her second child i just sent her congratulations on whatsapp i didn't go further i did not visit her i did not do anything because that is how my conscience wanted to be like like you know what just send her this message and all of those things so you don't need to i don't need to stress myself or go all out for you because you're my friend for once it's my turn you just you you, you go into your shell and just want me to do everything for you so that's that about that so moving forward we need to know and again i was wondering something that know who you call your friend not everybody is your friend as long as you say not everybody is your friend no your, your colleagues are not your friend like someone like me my colleague will be my you are my friend this one you're my friend your church members are not your friend no give like um accord people the title they deserve colleague colleague church member or church member schoolmate or schoolmate cosmates cosmates whosoever mates let them be let them stay where they belong and not just take them out of that and just tag them friend not everybody is your friend so that's that about that i just feel people need to people need to learn to define relationship and if you see your friend is moving some type of way just try as much as possible to you to withdraw maybe to drop be telling your friend but at the end of the day they will slide you or they will serve you hot breakfast that your shoes should be pinning you anyway so i don't know what you guys feel i don't know what you guys feel about this i did type that let peace reign you, are, you don't do energy for an energy you don't do what do me i do you mm? let me know in the comment section and let me know what you feel about this and all of this stuff please so i am not disputing the fact that people don't like to people can be very private about their about their stuff and all of those things but sometimes if you truly you see this person as your friend and you feel you can really confide in this person then why not See you guys in my next video. Please do well to subscribe. Let me know what you think about friends that are like this. Friends that they would not want to let you into the, their space, but they want to be in your space. Let me know what you feel about this kind of friends in the comment section. Please do well to like, share, and please subscribe. See you guys in my next video.